I'm Steve Waltine and I'm part of the Second City Sketch Project. I grew up in Vermont, I went to college in Vermont, and then I uh, moved to Chicago in order to figure out what Second City was all about. Steve I refer to as an art house Van Wilder. Just a cool guy who has uh, always got attention because he's just so smooth and cool and such a natural charismatic performer. Steve Waltine, cerebral, sharp, precise person, and that's just talking about the contours of his face. Steve Waltine is like an enigma that's been engulfed by a Rubik's Cube and been wrapped in a Sudoku puzzle, because you never know what's going on in that guy's head. Hey, um, who can do like a good Scottish accent? I can do that. You want to be in a sketch about like the campaign for Scottish independence? Yeah, for sure. Great, good. Hey, who here would be the best at hand-to-hand -hand combat? Well, Tim is probably the most athletic. I work out. Great. Does anybody have any sailing experience? I do. You do, really? Yeah, I used to sail on a Tanzer 22. Oh, perfect. Okay. Hey, who has background with like uh, ropes and rappelling, like mountain climbing stuff? There's a climbing wall in my gym. Do you feel comfortable in a harness and all that, like going down 200 feet? 100%. Awesome. What's the uh, sketch you're working on? Oh, I'm not uh, working on a sketch right now. Steve Altine is very mysterious. He's kind of like a stoic bird, you know? He might be spectrum-y, or he might just be really playing a long game, and I like that about him. He doesn't give you too much. Steve, <clears throat> earlier, the art department told me that you told them to redo the specs for your Kennedy assassination scene again. Oh, yeah, well, you know, I'm just kind of a stickler for accuracy. I, I want to get this one right, you know, all the jokes, the timing, and the exact flight path of the bullet, just so we can get I'm only going to ask you this once. Okay. Are you trying to solve the Kennedy assassination through sketch? All I'm saying is there are a lot of unanswered questions, Bob. For example, the grassy knoll's right here. Shut it down! Yeah, okay, okay. Bob Martin doesn't want me to know the truth. I never know really what's going on inside those eyes of his, or that brain. Steve is a hyper-intelligent uh, robot of comedy, but robot in the, in, the best, in the best meaning. I don't want to say he's like a serial killer, but he's like a serial killer. All right, I got to go. I got to go. We'll talk about this tonight. Where, yeah, okay, bye. Uh, Steve, your, your personal problems are interfering with the process. Yeah, sorry, no I, um, I, no, I can keep it separate. And actually, I have something, I think. Um, a recurring character of a uh, woman who uh, deals with her insecurities by um, flaunting her sexuality in front of her ex-boyfriend, Ron. Even though you don't expect that to keep happening, you know, we find ways to make it surprising. And then we're the idiot. So I think that could be fun. Steve Waltine is someone that I feel a kinship for. When I was on stage at Second City, I was kind of like Steve. I was in my head and bringing that out on stage. And Steve is really good about that. He's, he's very sensitive to sort of human behavior and to his own flaws. And personally, that's where I think the best comedy comes from, examining your own crap and sort of vomiting it out to a paying audience. <laughs> Thank you.